Hey YouTube, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to download and burn Ubuntu on a CD. Uh, this is easy and should not take you long. Uh, you have to go to Ubuntu.com And you want to get the desktop edition 9.04 which is the newest one so click download and you need to choose a mirror location um, just choose the one closest to you but make sure it doesn't start off like really slow make sure you have a maybe a decent estimated time you should know and if it takes oh if it's taking a while just stop it and pick another one so you need to pick one of these and it should take between 20 to 30 minutes depending on your speed and once it downloads it should be on your desktop well, if, wherever you saved it and it should say Ubuntu and it should be an ISO if you put your mouse over it, it should say ISO file um, it doesn't necessarily look like this but this icon is associated with another program that I have but don't worry about that and um, you need a burning software to burn this to a CD and the one I use is image burn or IMG burn find it you can find it pretty much everywhere and it's a really small file so just download it and you have to choose the first option which is write image file to disk then you choose the magnifying glass and you should find Ubuntu look for it wherever you saved it you want to say open and it's going to recognize it and insert a CD-R 700 megabytes uh, it's really, they're really cheap and once you insert it uh, the, I recommend a slower writing speed just because it will reduce the chances of getting errors um, for example say on the disk it says 8x I'd go with 4x it's always good to go with half the speed that the disk says so I would for example go with 4x um, and then I okay so once you choose your write speed you have to insert your CD into your CD drive and this part right here you should be able to click on it but since I don't have a CD I can't do that right now and depending on the speed it should burn in five to six minutes once you do that you have to boot from the CD Google how to do that or look at another tutorial and choose to install it or test it, the new operating system out uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe